Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. It's been a little while since I've done many videos, uh, mostly because I've been really busy with some other projects around here. Uh, most of my time has been devoted to this um, Ford Ranger that I've gotten here. Um, you can check that out on my other channel, Stuff You Can Do Too. I'll put a link to the channel on the screen. Um, I actually just lowered the truck a couple days ago. Uh, this is the first time anybody's seeing that, um, so you're sort of getting a little bit of a sneak preview there. I do still have the uh, 14 SB that I did a couple of videos on and the uh, sprayer project here as well. That's like I said, it's been on the back burner because of the Ranger. Um, the main reason we're here today is because I got a little bit of a problem with the 318. Um, for the last few weeks or so, I haven't been able to operate the choke. Um, it seems to be pretty stuck. Uh, so what I want to do today is go ahead and troubleshoot and fix that if I can. The weird thing about that problem is that once the tractor gets hot and it's all warmed up, I can operate the choke lever then, but as soon as the tractor cools off, it gets hard and I can't pull it anymore. So I have a feeling that there's some sort of melting going on or plastic that's gotten inside of the choke cable or something like that. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to pull it apart and see what we find. Alright, so I'm trying to pull the choke lever right now. As you can see, I'm getting absolutely no movement. Uh, I still think that this problem is probably in the cable itself. So right now we're just going to go ahead and loosen the cable up and take it off and see um, if the choke will move by itself without the cable attached. So we can see choke works just fine. There's no resistance or anything there. So it's probably like I thought the cable. You know, I'm pulling on the cable right now and you can see it won't, put, won't budge. Luckily I have a spare, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in right now. All right, guys, I suspected that was a bad cable. Uh, luckily for me, I had a spare on hand, and we're back in business. All right, so that's all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.